everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me for today's video where i will be showing you some really easy zero waste bathroom swaps that we have made over the last couple of months i'm really excited for this video because i think some people can think zero wasting is really difficult and actually it's really really easy when you get into it and just sit down and think about what you use that is a necessity and what you use that is really a non-essential item in your bathroom. So I break it down into two areas. We'll talk about personal hygiene and then we'll talk about bathroom cleaning just to make things easy. And I will try and be as brief as possible because you got lives and you don't need to be looking at my face for the next 40 minutes. The first thing being the good old bamboo toothbrush. I've talked about this in my zero waste videos from the very start. It was one of the first changes that I made and really one of the easiest. So the handle of these guys goes into your compost bin and depending on what your bristles are made from, you can cut them off and either pop them in the bin, which is a tiny impact in comparison to a plastic toothbrush, or they may even be compostable. For my floss then, and I know I mentioned this in my long haul flight survival guide, I use Tevra floss. And this is vegan, all natural, biodegradable floss. So typically when you buy your normal floss from the chemist, from the drugstore, it is a plastic floss and it does not biodegrade. So it just sits in landfill. You've used it and it's gone. It is honestly one of the most disposable products that we take for granted in our bathroom every single day. It also comes in a glass jar, which you can pop in with your glass recyclables instead of a plastic container. But if you really wanted to, you could find an alternative use for this little container or just in your everyday bathroom cabinet as a little storage bottle. The next super easy swap that you can make is to choose a natural crystal deodorant over your typical deodorant. Now I don't like giving out scientific information on my channel because I'm not a scientist, I'm just here to tell you what I do myself. However, I know that there are some harmful side effects, health effects associated with using a traditional deodorant. So let me just explain a little bit about what this is. So it is a gentle but effective deodorant based on pure natural mineral salts that provides day long protection against body odor. When applied to freshly clean skin, it inhibits the ability of odor causing bacteria to thrive. So it is essentially a salt crystal that acts to kill bacteria so that you don't pong. Another thing that I love about this is that it is really, really cheap and it lasts forever. I have had my crystal now for two years, two years and to still have this much left in it is absolutely crazy good value. I also really like this because it is fragrance free and as you embark on your zero waste lifestyle, I'm sure you'll find if you start using say a zero waste washing powder or you start to use less chemicals cleaning your house, your nose becomes really sensitive. So I do find that when people are wearing deodorant, my nose is super sensitive to it and I can smell it straight away and it's not the nicest thing in the world anymore. It actually makes me feel a little bit ill. So that is one side effect of going zero waste that I found on myself, strangely enough. The next really obvious bathroom swap is to change from using a traditional bottle shampoo to changing a shampoo bar. Now you've heard me rave on time and time again about Pam Free Irish Soap. I actually use their shampoo bar and I have loved it since day one. I've been using it for about four months now and I've had no issues whatsoever with the bar. I would highly recommend it and highly endorse the company in general. You use it the same way you would use any other shampoo bar, say for example from Lush or The Body Shop. You work it into your hair, you rinse, and and it becomes so lathery that you can actually use it as a body wash as well, which is fantastic. And also in combination with that, I will use a dry shampoo and I use this one here from Lush, which is no drought dry shampoo. And I've been using this for a good 18 months now. It allows me to get longer out of my hair every day so that I'm not in the shower and I'm not using water, I'm not using resources, electricity. And it also allows my shampoo bar to last that bit longer as well. So I will apply this in between washes. And what I like about this, although it is in a plastic bottle is that it is from Lush so it is vegan cruelty free and this bottle is recyclable and it's also made from 100% recycled plastic and I know when I return this to Lush it is going to go back into a recycling scheme again. I am working on finding a conditioner bar that I really like but I am yet to find one. When I do you will be the first to know. So on the topic of showering and washing yourself let's talk about body wash and body puffs all that jazz. So really simply swap out your bottled body wash 
for a good old fashioned soap. This again is from Lush. I feel like I use a lot of Lush products. And alongside your zero waste soap, let's just use a simple old fashioned face cloth as your shower puff. That means no more buying those plastic showery puffs that end up in landfill when it falls apart on you, which is usually after about two weeks because let's be real, the quality is and trust me, you can get just a good of a lather out of this with your soap as you would with a shower puff and your body wash and you just save the environment. Well, the video wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk about body hair. <laughs> How are you doing it? I might be a little bit TMI, but this is what I'm using. I'm using one of my dad's old razors. Over the years, the amount of these that I have stolen on him is not even funny, but there is a benefit to using a man's razor or if you feel like you want to buy a woman's razor, go for it. This is just what I had in the house and I did not want to buy anything else. The benefit is that these are super long lasting and you don't have to replace the handle every time you need a new razor. So with a disposable plastic razor, obviously you might use it two, three, four, five times if you're lucky before it starts to cut the underarms off you and you have to pop it into the bin. And although it is a hard plastic, which could potentially go into your recycling bin, it is another product that we can prevent from even getting to that recycling stage in the first place, which is something that people don't often think about when they think about zero waste. It's all well and good to buy a recyclable product, but if you don't even have to buy it, that is even better in my eyes. So all I have to replace on this is obviously the blade whenever it gets worn out, but it tends to last a really long time. As a shaving cream, I'll just use my soap and make sure my legs are really well exfoliated and really well lathered up before I go weed whacking. If you are a man or a woman who likes to wear makeup and you need a good makeup remover, then look no further than coconut oil. You have heard me raving about this in the past. I just love coconuts full stop. Oh my God, it just smells so nice though. I need to eat this now. Mm, she's good. However, if you didn't know, coconut oil works fantastically as a makeup remover. So you use it the exact same way as you would use any face wash. You take a small bit in your hands, heat it up, apply it to the face. However, obviously oil and water don't mix. So you are going to need to grab another face cloth and just wipe off that excess residue when you're finished. And you have a whole fresh set of makeup remover pads instead of using wipes. Besides the environmental point of using wipes to take off your makeup, if you are rough with your skin, it can promote aging, which we're not about on this channel. Next up, we have our face mask. I love to be pampered as much as the next person. And if you are going zero waste, it can be really hard to find good products unless you make your own ones at home, which again, it's all working in the background, but I just have not got around to bringing you those videos yet. However, I will have a video on some DIY zero waste face masks very, very soon. In the meantime, I really like Lush's face masks. Again, because they are vegan cruelty free, the ingredients are simple and natural. Again, with acne prone skin, we like all of those things. Things. There's no chemicals, there's no toxins, and also when you bring this pot back, it is going to be recycled. And if you bring five back, you will get yourself a free, fresh face mask. Now, as far as face washes go, I do need to note that as somebody with acne prone skin and PCOS, I do have to be careful with what I use on my face and how many changes that I can make. So just to be truthful and honest, I do use Image Skincare range when it comes to washing my face, exfoliating my face. Now I do combine this in tandem with soaps so that I'm not using as much of my cleanser, which again adds to the longevity of the product so I can have it for a lot longer. But I just want people to be aware that you don't have to be perfect. I am not perfect by any means. Nobody in my house is. But the fact of the matter is that you are trying, you are trying your best to do something for the environment. And there are certain things that you just simply won't be able to change. And for me, my face wash is one of them. So please don't let anybody tell you that you're not doing a good job or you're not trying or that you don't care simply because there is one thing in your life that you cannot give up. So now we've talked about some really easy swaps that you can make in the hygiene department. Let's talk about bathroom cleaning. Now, for some reason in the modern day, everybody seems to think that clean goes along with bleach and chemical smells. And that is just simply not the case. In our bathroom at home, we clean with vinegar, water, essential oils, citric acid, and bicarbonate of soda. And those are the five ingredients that we use in our bathroom. We no longer buy any glass cleaners, chemical cleaners, 
or bleaches. A, for the environmental reason, and B, because none of us can really handle the smell of that bleach anymore, as I was saying before. So I'll show you what we use to clean our toilets in place of bleach or any kind of spray cleaner. This little guy here is a super simple combination of citric acid and bicarbonate of soda, a couple of drops of essential oil and a tiny bit of water, and you have the most perfect toilet cleaner. It smells like citrus. It's absolutely lovely. If anybody wants me to make a video on these, please let me know in the comment section down below and I can absolutely do that. And as far as making these little fellas and actually popping them in a mold, this is actually a single use mouthwash container that my dad would have got on a long haul flight years ago. And so what we did was we took them, we used the mouthwash and we kept these to use as molds for our toilet fizzies. As far as everyday cleaning of sinks, and mirrors, we use a vinegar, water, and essential oil solution, and that is it. Vinegar is one of the most powerful cleaners out there. It cuts through grease and grime like no other. So in here, I have two cups of vinegar to two cups of water, so it's equal solutions. If you want a stronger cleaner, all you have to do is add more vinegar. And the orange color in this is actually coming from orange peel. We did soak some orange peel in vinegar for about three weeks just to allow that citrusy, orangey smell to infuse into the vinegar so that it does not smell like vinegar. I know some people really hate the smell of vinegar. I actually personally don't mind it, but if you do mind the smell of vinegar, like my mom does, that can be a really good option. You can also pop in a couple of drops of lavender essential oil, tea tree oil, anything with antibacterial properties to kill bacteria on your mirrors, on your sinks, and it will just take your solution up a notch. So as far as cloths and cleaners go then, in combination with that, we have essentially a microfiber cloth for every room in the house. They're long lasting, durable, incredibly effective. And when you leave it in the one room of the house, obviously it's not getting confused with other rooms. We don't want to mix up the bathroom and the kitchen, let's be honest. You can get these in different colors also, if that would be helpful. All it requires is a small little bit of extra effort on everybody in the house's part to just spray and wipe down the sink when they're finished so that you avoid that buildup of grease and grime in the first place and keep things looking super fresh. And lastly, one thing that we no longer buy for our bathroom is air fresheners, any kind of air freshener whatsoever. That might sound a little bit weird, but it's something that we never really bought over the years. And really, I don't see any problem in just cracking the window open. But that brings me to the end of today's video, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it as always. And to all my new subscribers who've just recently joined the channel, I want to say welcome and thank you for being here. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So hitting subscribe if you haven't already done so, that would really help me out so that I can keep bringing you more zero waste videos like this one. So with that said, have a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world and I would see you in my next video.